there's this tough talking dictator guy who comes along and says, we're going to get rid of all of that perversion. And so that's and the country is ready for that. They're like, make Germany great again. Does that so they sound just familiar? Jumped in with it. Yeah. And so they just give this dictator who's going to make them great again, bring them back to their Christian values. And um, so they started putting restrictions on personal liberties. Like you can't post certain things online. But obviously back then it was. Um, you know, the freedom of speech, freedom of press, that was restricted. And then, of course, they started rounding people up. And first it was the gypsies and the perverts that they were rounding up. But obviously it went on to we all know what happened after that. And so this article is kind of pointing out like, hey, there's a reason all of this perversion and everything is being thrust upon us. But be careful for going to the exact opposite extreme that's what happened in the 1930s, and that's exactly what we're setting ourselves up for now. And that's what we see, Leanne, because everybody says, like, don't put your Christian values on me, but then they change it to where boys can use the girls' locker room. So, right. like, you're, th you're thrusting things upon people, even though you're saying don't put any of your, uh, your things on me. Thank you so much, Leanne Thank McAdoo, you. for another great report. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this break with more special reports. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. A woman in the West German town of Nieheim was forced out of her apartment of 16 years so that a wave of refugees could put up stakes in her home. The resident of that apartment, Bettina Halby, later posted this on Facebook. On what grounds do they terminate rental contracts with residents in order to house refugees? There are plenty of empty properties in the town. The legality of the eviction is still in dispute as Germany is on par to make room for up to 1 million refugees this year alone. And soon, it won't just be the places Germans call home being kicked into the dustbin of history. Next, it will be their beliefs. Sharia law is making a foothold in Europe. Recently, a Muslim man residing in Germany confessed to strangling his 19-year-old daughter to death as the mother watched because she was caught shoplifting condoms. Back in the man's native land of Pakistan, 1,000 women are killed on average due to what is acceptably dubbed honor killing. Her name was Nargis. They had fallen in love after he had given her a ride in his taxi. And they were blissfully happy until she was found dead in a field, 
stabbed, shot, beaten and strangled. The Washington Post reported in 2014, a pregnant 25-year-old woman was stoned to death by her family for marrying a man she loved. The stoning took place in the middle of the day outside a courthouse beside a busy thoroughfare. The woman and her husband had been in love, her husband said, and they'd gone to the courthouse to sign the paperwork. Outside, the woman's father, brothers, and extended family waited. When the couple emerged, the family reportedly tried to snatch her then murdered her. Her father told police, I killed my daughter as she had insulted all of our family by marrying a man without our consent, and I have no regret over it. It had been an honor killing. Here in America, honor killings are not uncommon. For instance, in 2009, Faleh Hassan al-Maliki drove the family car into his 19-year-old daughter after being enraged that his daughter, Noor, had shunned an arranged marriage. He was sentenced to 34 and a half years in prison. Police recorded this phone call with Noor's mother shortly after her husband ran over their daughter and her boyfriend's mother. Your daughter is about close to dying. Close to die? Yes, she's in critical okay. condition. Tell her thank you, Amal, thank you. That's what she needs. She needs to break this family. That's what we need. You're a sick individual. When you have something that is against the rights of women, against the rights of gays, subjugates other religions, and a host of things that are not compatible with our Constitution, why, in fact, would you take that chance? The United Nations estimates that 5,000 women are victims of honor killings per year, while according to the BBC, women's advocacy groups suspect more than 20,000 women are killed globally every year due to honor killing. The Council on American Islamic Relations has denounced honor killing, calling it an ancient practice, an ancient practice that will be brought to areas of Muslim America as the fast tracking of supposed Syrian refugees is emboldened by Obama's policies to bring in tens of thousands of potential ancient practitioners within the next three years. John Bound for Infowars.com. Hi there, my name is Daria and I have recently started working here at Infowars.com. A little bit about me, I came to the United States from Russia uh, when I was a teenager, so I speak Russian pretty well, pretty fluently. So today on the show, Alex played a clip from Putin's UN speech and I noticed some of the discrepancies in the translation. And as we all know, mainstream media tends to manipulate the messages of foreign leaders when they speak. So I really wanted to get down to it and really take a listen and see if there were any manipulations um, that happened. So let's take a look. It seems, however, that far from learning from others' mistakes, everyone just keeps repeating them. So the start of the sentence may be a little bit confusing because we're missing the previous passage uh, in which Putin talks about how in the past meddling in other countries' affairs has not led to any progress but instead to destruction of that country. Uh, and he's saying how we're all different and we should respect each other instead of imposing our own ideology upon another country because it obviously has not worked. And he's saying, hey, instead of learning from this tragic experience, we're continuing to repeat it. I cannot help asking those who have caused this situation, do you realize now what you've done? But I'm afraid no one is going to answer that. So I wanted to emphasize here that Putin is not asking a rhetorical question of, do you realize now what you have done? He's saying, um, now do you understand what a mess you have brought upon us? So just by this one sentence, uh, you can see that a meaning can be slightly altered. It is now obvious that the power vacuum created in some countries of the Middle East and North Africa led to the emergence of anarchy areas, which immediately started to be filled with extremists and terrorists. 
in these circumstances, it is hypocritical and irresponsible to make loud declarations about the threat of international terrorism while turning a blind eye to the channels of financing and supporting terrorists. So at this point, New York Times conveniently cuts the clip, at which point Putin is starting to talk about who are the people who are comprising the ranks of the so-called Islamic State. And he points out that the invasion of Iraq in 2003 has led Iraqi servicemen to end up on the street. And now they have become part of this huge threat to the world. He also mentions Libya, who has been destroyed, and how Western countries have been a huge part of funding and supporting the Syrian rebels. So I feel like whole sections of crucial information can be left out, and that does change the narrative quite a bit. Our government is overthrowing people in Egypt, people in Libya, but also in Eastern Europe, you name it, because wicked corporations now run our government and they want to discredit America as well. They want to destroy all the nation states, so they're willing to use us as a battering ram, even though it's going to break us in the end, they're using our wealth, our goodwill, our strong name to build this world government. Russia is completely backed into a corner. The United States is moving new medium-range cruise missiles into Europe, admitting they're going to prepare to nuke Russia. And so Russia is now being pushed closer to China, and they're moving into the Middle East. This is biblical. Dear colleagues, I must note that such an honest and frank approach of Russia has been recently used as a pretext to accuse it of its growing ambitions, as if those who say it have no ambitions at all. So this sentence is a very literal translation of what Putin is saying. And with literal translations, it can be very hard to comprehend right away what is being said. What he's basically saying here is uh, he's being very sarcastic and he's saying, how dare you, United States, Western world, accuse Russia of growing ambitions while you are the one who, who is involved in all these wars throughout the world. So it's like the pot calling the kettle black. And sometimes it's, it's just, it's, ha it's hard with literal translations to get the sense of that right away. But I just wanted to mention that Putin is being extremely sarcastic, very caustic here. Now, this all may seem like nitpicking to you, and it is, but in this report, I wanted to show you how easy it is to mistranslate and misinterpret a word. Sometimes things do get lost in a literal translation. Sometimes it's malicious, sometimes it is not. But there are instances of malicious intent on videos where things have been changed in the translation, which makes things, which completely changes the narrative. And that is something I will be taking a look at in future videos here at Infowars.com. Again, I'm Daria, stay tuned. Well, that's it for our show tonight, but don't forget tomorrow or today, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can join Joe Biggs and a good number of the Infowars crew at the UT campus for a Pro Second Amendment rally. Now, don't forget this is on a campus, so definitely handle yourself with the proper amount of discretion, but he would love to see you out there, and I would as well. And also go to prisonplanet.tv where you can get yourself a 15-day free trial. You can see the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there at prisonplanet.tv. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.